Well, earlier you heard, we heard Anna Zammett talking to us about how some people have trouble saying no. Well, another thing in society that perhaps people have trouble talking about is a bit about depression. It seems to have mm. a stigma associated with it. But as our next guest was telling me earlier, depression actually affects so many people in Australia that everyone in Australia will either be affected directly by it with themselves or know someone, a close family member or friend who will have depression. So it's something that we need to be all aware of. So our next guest, Graham Cowan, has been through depression and has written a book to help people who've been on that journey as well. The book called I Am Back From The Brink. Welcome, Graham. Welcome, Matt. And welcome, well, welcome Graham, Marina. can yeah. you p- tell us a little bit about your journey in overcoming depression, please? Well, I had, uh, I've had five major episodes of depression since I was 21, but the last was by far the worst. It lasted for five years, from 2000 to 2005. And in that time, I tried 23 medications. I was hospitalised four times. I had ECT, or shock therapy, 20 times. I had a suicide attempt. Um, so it was, it was pretty horrendous. My psychiatrist described it as the worst he treated. And um, how I eventually got over it was basically um, taking a very holistic approach. I, I got on to uh, set, setting weekly goals, and I had goals for exercise. And I started exercising 15 minutes a day, um, which is very hard when you're depressed, but uh, I gradually got it up to like 40 minutes, and that really, really helped. Um, and then I, I, I ate well and I also um, made an effort to meet with family and friends and when you're depressed that's also very hard as well you just want to roll up into a ball and, and not talk to anyone basically mm. but I found that my mood gradually improved over probably about a, a four month period and then I got involved in um, a meditation I now meditate twice a day and then finally writing the book and, and interviewing people that had overcome depression, um, that you know, was the final catalyst, I guess, mm. to take me up to normality again, mm. sort of thing. A lot of people categorise depression as just you know, someone that's a bit down in the dumps and it's like, come on, pick yourself up, whatever. But depression actually is caused by chemical imbalances. Is this correct? Yeah, well, you know, actual clinical depression is where you have symptoms for five weeks, uh, sorry, for two weeks where your sleep is affected or your eating is affected, you've got really dark thoughts, dark moods, that sort of thing. And it, and it is a physical ailment, it is physically debilitating, you just can't snap out of it. Mm. Is it easy to find resources when you are in that state to help you move through and overcome depression? There are some very good resources out there. You know, there's some very good websites like uh, Beyond Blue and Black Dog Institute. And both those organisations have online poll, uh, you know, questionnaires mm. where you can go in anonymously and do an assessment and see if you are clinically depressed. It's not definitive, of course, but it gives you a very good indication. Mm. Mm. So if someone is out there and find a family member or a close friend is, is perhaps coming through depression now, what are some of the tips that you or suggestions you can have for those people for supporting someone going through mm. depression? Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a very important um, point because the family members are, you know, extremely important in supporting someone with depression and, you know, I basically recommend sort of three things. One is to learn about depression yourself. That's the first thing. The second thing is to help your loved one find the right professional support be it a good GP or a good psychologist, that's, that's the next thing they can do. And the third thing is to take care of themselves. You know, make sure they access groups. There's groups like Arathmi um, that, that are membership groups for, for carers okay. of people with, with depression and mental illness. Mm. Yeah. So I suppose we've got to keep, as a supporter, you need to keep yourself in peak performance condition so that you can be as supportive and resourceful as possible. Is that, is that what you mean by yeah, yeah, support yeah, groups? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, you know. okay. Also, though, if you do have someone close to you that is suffering from depression, would you say that the best way to go about dealing with them is to sympathise with them or to possibly try and perk them up? Is there any way of helping them by being happy around them or do you find that this may just push them down even more? Yeah, being happy is not the solution. Um, You have to support them, you have to be, um, say that you're there for them, say you're not going to leave them, Um, but as I said, the best thing you can do is learn about yourself and help them find the right support. That's the best thing you can do. And say that you're going to be there for them. Mm. That's the best thing. Graham, as part of your journey, you mentioned that part of coming out was writing the book, I'm Back from the Brink. What 
before you came up with the idea, what led you to come up with the idea of writing a book about the journeys for other people? Well, when I, when I was at my real lowest, I really yearned for stories of people that had overcome depression and I just couldn't find them. And so I thought, what a great idea, but I'm too depressed to do anything about it. But as I gradually got a bit better, I decided to, to go forward with uh, the project. and. You know, it was a, just a fantastic experience and, you know, I interviewed uh, Dr. Jeff Gallup from here. I interviewed um, the Olympians, John Conrads and Patria Thomas. <coughs> the artist, uh, Margaret Olley and um, the, the poet, Les Murray, as well as everyday Australians. There's people in there that have postnatal depression, uh, post-traumatic stress from Vietnam, Vietnam veterans. Uh, there's also people there with bipolar. There's people there that have had sexual abuse. There's farmers that have lost their farm through cataconic depression. So I really sought to have someone in there that everyone could relate to. That was the real objective mm. when, I, when I started the book. So prior to the book, um, you said that it was hard finding stories on people that had overcome depression. And, and you mentioned two websites before that you would occasionally seek out. Is it hard to find information on depression and, and to get help through this? There's now lots of information about depression and, and you know, that those two websites I mentioned, um, the Black Dog Institute and Beyond Blue, have very good information. But w- what people really yearn for are, are actual stories of people mm. that have been through what mm. they've been through. And I, I, I re- before I started writing a book, I researched 300 people to find out what they were looking for. And they weren't looking for lectures, they weren't looking for people saying do this, do this, do this. What they were looking for was people that had done it and just sharing their experience. Just talking about the eye, not not saying you should do this. Yeah. yeah so yeah. that was what the, they were really looking for. So is that why you chose to put it in a question and answer format? Absolutely. They, they said they wanted to see it raw. You know, okay. I sort of I sort of think of it a bit like uh, you know the YouTube of depression sort of thing. You know, <laughs> yeah. it's, you know the book has got it's a question and answer format, and there's also pictures of the people and what was also helpful f- for them with their depression as well. So it could be you know a pet, or it could be their gut garden or it could be exercise you know it could be a multitude of things Mm. terrific well thanks Graham for coming in to share a story and congratulations at taking the initiative to write a book to share stories with other people to help them get over their journey and here if anyone wants to learn more and even meet Graham to hear a bit more of his journey and and the book Angus and Robinson tomorrow at Wednesday uh, you'll you'll be there signing books so so go and talk to Graham and and hear a bit more about his his journey um, as well so thanks Graham for sharing that we wish you the the best and hope and know that I know that a lot of people will be helped by your book. So thanks for writing it. Thank you. Pleasure. Thanks.